Hi, so I just did a short groups video and I'm going to do queries video, which is more powerful because the queries you don't have to select things. The, the query itself will do that for you. And also the queries can be used to make lists, which is very useful. So what we want to do is we want to do the columns first. So what we can do is if, if you want, you can just select the column. So you want to go to objects. We have steel beams. So our columns are just going to be steel beams. But if you decide later to add shear tabs and stuff like that, select the plate items. Common properties, that's fine. You can change all these things. Naming, so I want to do model role and column. So just hit C, scroll down a little bit. Column. Now you could pick more than just one. You could pick a couple of these, which is good. Now, so this, if I click this, it'll select everything that's not a column. So let's save this as columns. Okay. And then do okay. And you can see it selects the columns. And then you can run this and it'll select all the parts marked in the shop. And that's your columns now if you want to find specific parts now i have commands that will do this so if i select this and go up here isolate identical it'll isolate the identical parts which are these right so what i want to do is let's go back we'll turn on everything again so go down here to quick views turn everything on so what we want to do is let's zoom in on this here and this is the name of this is m1001 so we want to collect select all these clips so if you have a whole big model this can be very useful so come in here where oh sorry that's a group we want to create another query assign yellow is fine object steel beams these are steel beams we don't need to select anything else Go to numbering, the single part mark and the prefix is M1001. And then we're going to save this as M1001. Okay. And to okay. And you can see it selected those. So now if I deselect those and if I go and click on the light bulb here, it'll just highlight those now the reason it's showing up the grout is because they're solids so they're not controlled they'll stay on so there's your there's the parts and then you can select them or you can turn that off and you can right click and you can execute and then you can hit the selection tool and mark them so i hope that's useful all right that's your queries take care